Well, you start. see, what passes for wit in the House of Commons is it's fairly thin stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I would remind the honourable gentleman that in 1975, <laughs> Labour's policy on trying to, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, but, you know, outside of that, it's awful, you know. Yeah. 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 But I wonder about women, and do you have a problem getting women on your show? Because I'd be terrified. In fact, they've well, asked us, and I'm <laughs> they, they, they generally do ask more women than men, and more, more women say no, and yeah. more men say yes. So, you know, it's, yes, it is. It is, mm. it is difficult. Was the tub of lard a good idea, do you think? Well, I <laughs> was funny. It was funny because um, I was doing another show at the time. I was, I was recording a Channel 4 series, and I just got the phone call from the producer the day before, and I was sort of, my head was th full of learning lines and said, um, Roy Hattersley isn't coming tomorrow. Can we have a tub of lard come in, in instead? And I said, fine, put the phone down. I didn't think for <laughs> a moment about it until I got to the studio. Oh, it is a tub of lard. <laughs> I didn't give it a moment's thought. He didn't appreciate that, did he? No. Um, Listen, we'll talk, about, we'll talk about the book in a second, but I'm fascinated, we both are, by this Hancock thing. Mm. You're going to do... Is it a, a complete uh, resurrection of the scripts of Hancock's Well, what we've out? done, we were, and I, the reason why I've got a hangover this morning, because we did one last night uh, up at uh, well, again, Central in Nottingham. Well, again, you said that last time we made. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> perhaps I'm an alcoholic, maybe that's it. Um, no, we, we, did, uh, we did one last night called Twelve Angry Men. The jury uh, thing, yeah, yeah, the jury thing, which went very, very well. Um, basically, we got the, you know, Ray and Alan, the writers, are, are still around, and, and they're sort of there coming in and, and Ray rewriting. Ray Gordon and Alan Simpson. Simpson. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, people forget how young they were when they were doing this stuff. They're only in their mid-60s mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's like you think, well, you know, it's a good script, we've got a good cast, we've got a good director. What else do you need, mm. really, to make it work? And it works very well. When you say you've done one. Sorry, do you mean you've recorded it on... We recorded it last night. We recorded 12 Angry Men last night. And we, we right. did the lift about a year ago mm. as a one-off. Um, and I think 12 Angry Men's going to go out at Christmas. Um, right. Certainly the series starts in February. Well, um, has, has Hancock already done that? I'm sorry, I saw most of Hancock's Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. Remember, I mean, the, the main one I remember is the blood donor. It's yeah, like well, we, we wanted to do the blood donor in this series, but then they, they said, oh, well, if we get a second series, let's start the second series off Who's with that. that? So but what? you're not, but you don't impersonate Hancock. There's no, no, no. stone me and all no, that. No, 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 no. There's, 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 there's oh, dear, 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 have you gone regular yeah. man? No, no, no. You've gone regular man. You know, there's, no, there's none of that really because it's, it's the scripts are so good mm. um, that they can be done again. And so it's quite unique in sort of television, you know, television comedy to redo something 35 years later. But mm. if you look at the originals, because they're done like 1959, 1960, technically they're quite poor because yeah. that's yeah. as good as they could be at the time. Yeah. Yeah. But, they're, they're, you know, they're not as watchable as they would be like making something now. So, yeah. so there is a real virtue in doing it. And, is, and, you know. is there, a, is there a, an equivalent of the Sid James Character. Yes, um, uh, we're doing we're, we're doing a couple that have got uh, had Sid in it, and Caroline, my wife, is playing Sid James <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the missing page, which we get to do in a couple of weeks' time. And I yes. think she is the new Sid James. <laughs> Don't tell Barbara, Barbara Windsor. Windsor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was not the prepared line. No, we just happened to be married. Yeah. Um, I, know, I had a killer question lined up there, but I've forgotten it now. Um, is just the just idea of Caroline Quentin being Sid James it, immediately it throws it, everything it, else it, it ahead? <laughs> I know what it was. It, it was about you, really. I mean, you've no because you're here, no, may as well. Yeah. <laughs> the deadpan thing, I mean, Hancock mm. obviously had the deadpan start, mm. and I know mm. that you were a huge fan in, as a kid of Keaton, Buster Keaton, yeah, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. And on Have I Got News For You, you, you yeah. keep a commendably straight yeah. face. Is that hard, or are you well, well you, into you, it you, you know, it's, it's a technique, and you practice it, and whatever. You know, yeah. it's like, like you, the clips you were showing earlier, it, it's, it's something funnier about being the person who doesn't get the joke yes. when you're doing it yourself, you know, yeah. and you say something, and you're very sort of straight about it, and somehow yeah. that makes it... Funny, I yeah, don't know why. Laugh as well, don't yeah, you? yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, so that's really why I do well, it. Another you know. clip of you doing exactly that with, uh, with Theresa, Theresa again. Sorry, Theresa. <laughs> oh, Theresa yeah. Balmy Gorman. Theresa, your impossible <laughs> question uh, is. Your impossible question. <laughs> <laughs> um, Isn't he sweet? He's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, these are they. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to mend the gulf between us. Oh, there's no gulf. Oh, I see. It's a oh, chasm. <laughs> <laughs> she took it well. She took yeah, it well. she did. She had yeah. no idea what was going on at all. Just smiled. HRT doesn't know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> just pleased to be anywhere, really. HRT's good. HRT stops you getting Alzheimer's, apparently. Oh, does so it? So I was well, wondering when men were going to start taking yeah, it. Yeah, it it's a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, um, my struggle. This is a spoof autobiography. That's right, yeah. yes. What, what, yeah. what character do you not play but write in, in this? Well, it, it's... Uh, I'm 65 <laughs> years old, but I'm 65 years... I mean, it's terrible, yes, it's awful. It, it's like uh, Stephen Fry, actually. I know, but it, it's it's it basically he's a sort of he's a horrible man, and it's not me at all. He he thinks that sort of like hosting a quiz show is the highest form of art, 
and this is the greatest thing that anyone could possibly ever do. And, and he's, he's actually a, an awful individual that has no talent at all and, and doesn't realise that, uh, doesn't realise that fact and yeah. thinks that people love him because of what, but nobody really cares about him at all, you know, so it's he's a, a lovey Monke, basically. Yeah. Monke. Living yeah. in Spain yeah. and hosting a, a chat show from a pub. That's I mean, right, yeah, a live chat show from there. a pub, yeah, so sort of like, as you, as you tune in on the satellite TV later and later, he's drunker and drunker as it goes <laughs> on and in the end he's just slurring words right. into the camera too. Is like. this going to be the basis of a, of a special, do you think? Can you can put this on the screen? Oh, I don't think so, no. It's difficult to, um, no, I didn't sort of think of it doing that. I think it's, you know, books are books, I think, you yeah. know, and, and TV's another thing and I, I don't think I, I'm not that interested in translating it really, it's a one-off Have thing. you written any other books? Yeah, I did a book about, uh, a couple of years ago called History of the 20th Century, mm. which... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it did very well. But uh, I predicted the Beatles getting together in that, and I wrote that two years ago. Right. So I'm, uh, I'm amazed that they've actually done it now. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen a documentary last night. I must, I'll go home and watch that. Oh, we we saw, saw, I saw a bit it. of it, we but we're, it. we're too tired. But we saw the end bit because they showed it in America first last week. Yeah. And it is fascinating. Yeah, it is. It is yeah, yeah, you're back. Mm. Um, so you've got a lot more mellow, haven't you? Since those hectic. I mean, because you, you, <laughs> you weren't manic, but you had that very upbeat phase when you were. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this was a long time ago now. But yes, I was. I was, you know, I, I was, I was getting very, very excited because I was working with Julian Clary on Sticky Moments, which was a thing I put together with him, and I was working on a Channel Four. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. And I was working on a Channel Four series, and so everything basically I ever wanted to do was like my own television series, and all that was mm. happening. Mm. And I just got very, very manic, and 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 just needed to be tranquilised for a week, really, you know. Mm. Yeah. Which you were yeah. when you met Caroline. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> she tranquilised Yes, you did. The new Sir James, have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, All your right. character in Paul Merton, My Struggle, actually advises Prince Charles on his choice of bride. Yes, he? yeah. He, he said, I'll put, I'll put a load of names in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts Terry Wogan in and Magnus Magnuson and luckily Di is one of the names that he pulls out. Yeah. What did you, Which did, panorama should be very great. Did you see Panorama last week? I did, yeah. What, what did you think? Well, I thought, I thought she came across very well, you know. Mm. It's sort of like clearly she was being very honest because she was admitting to things that she needn't necessarily admit to, you no. know, all the James Hewitt stuff. And I think she just had enough of, of, of being sort of mucked around by the whole system and establishment. And she's sort of saying, well, I am a strong woman and that's what they don't yeah. understand. And I think that came across very clearly. got to tell you, it didn't come... We saw it, and we said at the beginning of the show, we saw it in America. On ABC, mm. with Barbara Walters kind of hosting it, as if she'd sort of almost done the interview. Yeah, yeah. She was, she was it. trying to imply, in a sense, that she that yeah. this was her interview, and yeah. it just sort of didn't it work. It shows at what all. editing will do. They snipped mm. it up, and they put lots and lots of clips in of like you know, the Squidgy Gate tapes, which yeah. they never run in this country, yeah. and all sorts of footage and stuff. And the overall effect was much less flattering to Diana. Really? Yeah. In fact, if she if she just got back to England today, morning, Diana. If, if you see it, if she sees it, she would not be happy. Yeah. It was a bit of a. Well, that was the thing that was very good about the panorama thing. It was it was just camera on her exactly. for an hour, yeah. and so you can't fake that. You know, exactly like, you know, right, if yeah. you're there for an hour, you, you, you come across as the person that you are. You yeah, know. that's right. The camera lingers on the face. Mm. Absolutely. Well, listen, it's good to see you, and it's good luck with the book. Well, exactly. thank you. Ian Hislop's on later this week, isn't he? <laughs> is he really? <laughs> What's he, he what on earth is he plugging? No idea. <laughs> no idea. If you had one something. question that you could ask Ian Hislop on live television, what would it be? Why do you keep losing? <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, ask him. <laughs> ask him. All right, nice to see you. Take care. Thank you. We're going to take another break, but we're back with today's phone-in on how far you go to keep your pet happy. We'll see you